let's go. I'm gonna give him some cross eyes here. Oh, that's a nice one. Here we go. That's a solid one. He's probably overslot to be honest with you. And just heavy. I mean, he is a heavy, heavy fish. Hey, what is up anglers? This is Pat from Salt Strong. And in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the types of areas that you need to be fishing in during the summertime. So springtime is over and it is completely hot out there. It seems like everywhere in the country. So we need to change the areas that we're fishing. Some of you might already seen this, where the areas that you've been catching fish the past couple of months aren't necessarily the most productive places now. And you might be going out there getting skunked and I wanna fix that for you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show different spots all over the country to show you that the same principle and the same thought process will work no matter where you're at as long as you're fishing for fish like redfish sea trout snook and flounder i'm going to show you the types of areas that you need to be looking at so what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of map work and kind of break down the spots and show you what it looks like on satellite images so first thing we're going to do is go over to our smart fishing spots app and uh, we're going to start in the state of florida and what we're going to do is we're going to look for the things that we need in the summertime so the first thing that we're going to look for is structure the more types of structure that you can get the better so if you can combine a point with seagrass or oyster beds or all three of those combined those are going to be great places to look for another thing that we need to look at is windblown shorelines we need to make sure that those structures are facing into the wind because the water temperature is high right now so what happens is these fish are going to move to the areas that's going to have the coolest water and it needs to be out towards open water not the back country anymore we're going to be fishing these areas that are going to be closest to deeper water or open water and the next thing that we need is bait so if you can combine all of this and put some bait in the area more than likely you're going to be in a spot that's going to be holding a lot of fish or at least the feeding fish that we're after so to give you an example of what this looks like on a map here it is right here we're on the east coast of florida here's a cluster of islands and just to give you an understanding of how fish move so in the winter time what's going to happen is is these fish will move into these interior areas because these will warm up quicker when that sun comes out and then they've got this deep water nearby that they can go to at nighttime or whenever a cold front comes by but we're going to do the opposite what happens in the summertime is they don't want warm water they want cool water so these fish are going to be moving on to this outside edge right here they're going to be all along here and if you notice we're going to scroll out this is your huge body of open water. This is going to be your coolest water. This is going to be the most windblown. This is going to have the most dissolved oxygen. And that's why these fish are going to move out on these points. Now, when it comes to where you're going to start, you're going to start in the direction that the wind is blowing. So if you have a north wind, you're going to be fishing these points right along this. If you've got a west wind, you're going to be fishing these points over here. And then if you get a south wind coming in this direction, you're going to be fishing this shoreline right here. Now, if you've got an east wind, when you're dealing with this I wouldn't necessarily try to fish this shoreline right here because you've got all of this that's blocking that wind and this is still gonna get pretty warm what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually gonna move out to these exterior islands right here and fish those eastern shorelines right here or even this windswept shoreline right here these windswept islands and we do have an app called the smart fishing spots app which I'm actually in that right now and I'm gonna go ahead and show you something here real quick so if we take and click on our smart spots right here here, it'll actually label this area as a smart fishing spot so this is how this works kind of a sneak peek you might have heard of what the smart fishing spot app is uh, but this is kind of a sneak peek of what it looks like and how it works so this is Florida this is just an example of one of the types of spots let's move out to the Carolinas and we've got an area right in here that uh, is the prime example of the types of places that you'll want to take a look at so let's go ahead and uh, pull up our shaded relief this kind of shows you what the underwater the picture the underwater looks like and again what we're looking for is we're looking for points that has structure on them that's near open water so here is uh, the uh, ICW right here this is your deep water channel right here and this is the marshlands right here so again in the winter time what's gonna happen is these fish are gonna push back up here in these creeks and then as the water warms up in the springtime they'll they'll move out here to these outside points but what's going to happen is as that water temperature gets really high in the summertime they're going to move all the way out here and the reason why they're going to do that is because that icw is bringing in cool and fresh water from the ocean so this is going to be the coolest water that's in the area and we talked earlier about combining your structure so we're talking about points we're talking about oyster beds we're talking about seagrass well we got another feature right here that will show you oyster beds that are in the area so again we've got the icw right here we've got this uh, point that's right here that's in, near the open water and if you 
you notice this little area right here, that is an oyster bed that pops up right there. So you've got some combined structure and then I'll click on the smart spots and you're going to see that there's actually a smart spot that's right next to that area. So that's how the app works. But basically all of this works is it takes all the information that you need when it comes to finding those summer spots and you're able to put that on a map and figure out where these fish are going to be holding at. So let's go ahead and turn this off real quick. So if we've got a north wind, we'll be fishing these uh, shorelines that are facing towards the north and same thing with the east and the south. Uh, you want to make sure and fish the shorelines that are facing in the direction that the wind is coming from. And let's go out here in Texas. Right here we've got a cluster of islands that's out in this open water right here and that's exactly where these fish are going to be at. They're going to move out here. In the winter time what they'll do is they'll push back up in here but as that water starts to get warm they're going to push back out and they're going to be looking for that cool water that's got more dissolved oxygen and that's going to be in a place just like this. Let's go ahead and scroll on in and take a look at it and see what we have. If you notice we've got this cluster of islands and no matter what direction that wind is coming from you've got a north wind you can fish this shoreline here. If you get an east wind you can fish this shoreline here. Again a west wind you can fish here and then a south wind you can fish here. So you've got all your wind directions covered but you also have a combined area right in here where you've got this point where you're going to have the most amount of water flow. If you've got an outgoing tide that's flowing out right here this is going to be a peak water Water flow area and if we pull up the map again and we click on that oyster bed layer you're gonna see that there's gonna be an oyster bed right in here so we've talked about those combined amounts of structure so you've got everything that you need right here you've got a point that comes off you've got the oyster bed that's on top of it and if there's bait in the area which there probably will be this is a prime location to find some fish and again we'll click on the smart spots and you'll see that this label right here is gonna be one of your smart spots now this is a prime example of a place that you need to be fishing during the summertime. So just to wrap things up, the things that we need for summertime fishing is we need all different types of structure and the more that we have, the better in a combined area. So if we can combine oyster beds, seagrass, and points, those are the type of places that are gonna hold the most amount of fish. Now we want those structures to be facing into the wind. If they're facing into the wind, they're going to have the coolest amount of water, they're going to have the most oxygen, and then you combine that with some bait. If you can find all of those with some bait in the area, those are the magic places that you need to be fishing at. Now a lot of people will talk about what types of lures that you use. So whenever you catch a fish, the first thing that they want to know is where did you catch the fish and what did you catch the fish on? Gear is important, but to be honest with you, it's not nearly as important as finding spots like this. If you don't find where the fish are feeding at, then it doesn't matter what lure you're using. So the first thing to do is to find areas where there's feeding fish. And if you're new to Salt Strong, this is exactly what we do. We have apps just like the Smart Fishing Spots app, and we have tons of videos that helps you find the feeding fish quicker. That way you can catch more fish in less time and save money while doing it. So if you haven't checked us out yet, Go to saltstrong.com where we have the information where we can get you started on how you can become a better inshore angler quickly. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and put those down below. I'd love to hear from you. And I want to show you a video of what happens when you take all of this and you combine it and you turn it into a successful trip. Check it out. Nice one. Nice. He hit that thing like a ton of bricks. These fish are few and far between, but I will tell you, they are pretty consistent in the spots where they're at. Yeah, just they're on this windblown side of these points in these islands right here. There we go. And then we got that right there, as you can see. The uh, slam shade, this one's a little bit better. Nice fighting fish. Now, if your fishing game is not where you want it to be, whether you're not catching the quantity of the fish you're looking for or the quality of the fish you're looking for, come check us out at saltstrong.com where we will help you catch more fish quicker while saving you money. So check us out at saltstrong.com.